Alright guys, so I decided that these are going to be my dedicated track wheels and I'm going to get them powder coated. So let's see what they uh, look like when I get them back. You'll see. Alright guys, <clears throat> so I just got back my stock wheels. I sent them to a powder coat shop locally out here and <clears throat> I think they look pretty cool and I wanted to show you what they look like as these will be my dedicated track wheels. I'm going to put some R compounds on these on these wheels. <clears throat> so I thought I'd just change up the stock wheel color just for fun, just to mess around and see how it would come out. And I think these came out pretty freaking nice. And what I'm planning to do I'm just going to clean them up, see if, if there's any uh, dirt or anything like that on them, and then I'm going to ceramic coat them with the Gion rim, and uh, <clears throat> just because since these are the uh, track wheels, they will be seeing a lot of brake dust. I think they look pretty cool. We'll get a close up in a second after I undo all these. this and let's get a close up. Let me know what you guys think. I think they're pretty cool. The whole wheel is powder coated. It's kind of like a matte gold I would like to say. And uh, I think they turned out really nice. Let's see how close we can get. So yeah, I'm going to clean these up real quick and prep them for uh, some ceramic coating. Alright guys, so <clears throat> you see I have prep here to prep the surface. And then here's the ceramic coating. So uh, I'm just going to probably do one wheel, film one wheel. And then, um, yeah, anyways. Uh, so the prep is to clean the surface of uh, any waxes or whatever. Obviously there's no waxes, this is powder coated. Um, these were finished, I believe, on Wednesday. Today is Saturday, so it should have had enough time to uh, cure. So I'm going to put these on, and uh, I do have a track day, or possibly a track day, on January 22nd. Hopefully there's no rain that weekend, and if there's not, then I will not be, um, I will not be uh, signing up if it rains, because there's no point uh, for me to want to go out there in the rain. <clears throat> so hopefully... Um, the track day will happen and uh, I will have a video of what these look like on the car um, at the track. So let me open this up. I haven't used this one before. Okay, so what you get is this foam block right here for the ceramic coating. The mask, which you do need, it, it does smell a lot. I wore this when I just uh, applied it on my car. And uh, yeah, you get some suede cloths. It looks like you get four. So it's nice. And then, put this, put this down. Okay, and then uh, you get the ceramic coating right here. So, need to open this up. There we go. So, this is it. Let me uh, get this thing prepped up now. So, I'm just going to lightly mist.
All right, so there you go. You saw me put on the first layer. Um, I believe these take a week to cure um, <clears throat> for this particular brand, uh, at least a week. So do not wash them within a week. You could go to uh, two weeks to be safe. Um, I believe it's uh, not the water, but it's the uh, the soap. It shouldn't be washed with any soap or uh, have any watermarks left on there to etch into the ceramic coating. But um, hopefully I'll get some tires tires on uh, on these uh, in a week or a couple days before the track event and then just go from there. Um, obviously I'm going to do the rest of the uh, the wheels as well. Let this sit for about uh, an hour and a half or so and then I'll probably put on a second layer of ceramic coating. Uh, you can put up to three with this brand as per instructions. So so far I, I do have to upload the video of me uh, applying the Mohs ceramic coating onto the GTR. I haven't done that yet. Um, so I need to get to editing on that just to show you the how hydrophobic it is and uh, whatever. So uh, that should be it for today. This is done. I'm um, going to move on to the other wheels right now. Thanks for watching guys.